Hello and welcome to American Metro's Cash Register Training Series. In this episode, we will be going through how to set up and install multiple registers using a single credit card processing modem known as an M-Box. Your equipment will arrive in plastic tubs like these. Each tub will be labeled with the location and register number. We will begin by identifying each piece of equipment found in the container. Inside each tub, you will find the register itself, two Ethernet cables, one gray and one blue, a barcode scanner, and a scanner power supply. In each container labeled register one, you will also find a pegboard with the M-Box, power strip, and either a four or eight way cable splitter, depending on how many registers you will be connecting to the M-Box. From the back of the register, the first thing we are going to do is connect the scanner. Plug the short jumper cable from the back of the register into the Ethernet adapter on the scanner. You should hear a click when connected securely. Next, plug the scanner power supply into the scanner at the base of the cable. You will see a hole for the power cord in between the thumb screws. Be sure to plug the cord in completely. Repeat this process for each register. Each register is assigned a number as labeled on the front near the key lock. As you can see, this is register 1. On the back of the register, you will see two Ethernet connector ports labeled 1 and 2. You will also notice a set of Ethernet ports on the M-Box cable splitter. Each of these ports is labeled to correspond with a specific port number on an assigned register. On the register, connect the gray Ethernet cable into port number 1 and the blue in port number 2. Now go to the cable splitter. Since we are currently working on register 1, plug the other end of the gray cable into the connector labeled register 1 port 1, and the opposite end of the blue cable into the port labeled register 1 port 2. For subsequent registers, follow the same instructions by matching the number on the register with the assigned ports on the cable splitter box. The gray cable will always plug in to port 1 and blue is always in 2. Last, we're going to plug in the power. The last step is plugging in all the power cords. On each register, plug in the scanner and the register power cords. Once all the registers have power, you can plug in the M-Box power. The M-Box should be powered up last because the modem needs to be able to find a connection to each register while it powers up in order to function correctly. The M-Box will take between 45 and 60 seconds to fully power up. There is a visual indication that it is ready based on the green lights on the front of the box. As it is powering up, the first three lights will blink off and on repeatedly. When it is ready, the first light, labeled power, and the third light, labeled WAN, will remain solid, while the second light, labeled signal, will continue to blink. Once the first and third lights have remained solid for 10 seconds, you should be ready for sales. If you have additional questions, please contact American Metro toll-free at 1-888-645-4876 email at servicedepartment at americanmetro.com or visit us online at www.americanmetro.com.